today so that you can know a little bit more about that music. Some of these are probably tunes that you might have heard and put some perspective of when they were written and why they were written and who wrote them and what part of the world they came from. Um, so we are Calliope. We appreciate it. We're going to close with the final movement of uh, and, 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 yeah, just, uh, uh, Antonio Vivaldi. Uh, his dates were 1678 to 1741. He was an Italian composer and violinist who left a decisive mark on the form of the concerto, which is what we're playing, just the last movement of one, and the style of the late Baroque instrumental. Vivaldi's main teacher was his father, Giovanni Battista, who in 1685 was admitted as a violinist to the orchestra of the San Marco Basilica in Venice. He made his first known public appearance playing alongside his father in the Basilica as a supernumerary violinist at the age of 18 in 1696. Vivaldi's earliest musical compositions of his trio sonatas, which is again what we mostly play in the trio sonata realm, are violin sonatas dated from 1705 to 1711. Uh, in the 1720s were the zenith of Vivaldi, so if we think about it, that was before the founding of this country, right? So it, it puts it in some kind of timeline of where the music, music was happening and where it was coming from. <laughs> Almost 500 of Vivaldi's concerti survived. He per perfected the form of what would become the classical three movement concerto, which is what we played before in the Telemann. Indeed, he helped establish the fast, slow, fast plan for the concerto three movement. His concerti were taken as models of form by the many late Baroque composers, including Bach. So thank you so much again. Thank you for being such an attentive and marvelous audience. Thank you for speaking for your heart. Thank you for the beautiful poetry. Uh, as, as we all remember 9-11 and where we were and what was happening and the people that we loved in our lives and sadly people we lost in our lives. But, your poetry really made a point of remembering them in, in, in every little moment of our lives. It was beautiful. I'll be in the last movement. And again, thank you. job of bringing cultural enrichment to all of us, with not only with this program, but with so much that we've done all season, and I, for one, Thank you. 
Thank you, ladies. I want to give a shout out to Joan Polishuk, who actually the one who recommended this, and this was just beautiful. So thank you, Joan. <laughs> Bernie Paul, and thank you, Audrey. And one more thing. Sunday we have a mycology walk at four o'clock, meeting at the mail room. We have a specialist coming in through the conservatory who's gonna walk with us and show us all the interesting mushrooms that are growing wild around our community. So if you're interested, it's not a big walk, but we'd love to have you sign up. So thank you.